Okay, welcome back students taking math for business and finance and math applications and we're doing chapter 10 the summary practice test and we're on the our last problem uh, problem number six for this chapter okay, and it says Comet Lee borrowed 16,000 on a 6% 90 day note so 16,000 is the principal the rate is 6% on a 90 day note that's the time. After 20 days, Comet paid 2000 on the note. Okay, so let's diagram it out here. So borrowing 16000 at 6% oops, for 90 days. Um, after 20 days, so here's 20 days, is paying 2000 On day 50, Comet paid 4000 What are the total interest? What are the total interest and ending balance due by the U.S. rule? Use ordinary interest, which is 360 days. Okay. So we want to know what the total interest is. And we want to know the uh, ending the ending balance due. Ending balance due. Because we're paying off uh, out of that 16, we're paying 2,000 and we're paying 4,000. But remember, we're using since we're it's a partial payment, we use the US rule. Um, when we make this payment of 2000 we take out the amount for interest uh, that's accrued first and then we apply the rest to the principal so that's that changes our principal amount and then we do the same thing again over here on day 50 when we pay the 4000 okay so um, we calculate the interest between days 20 and day 50 pay off that interest and then use the remaining balance uh, against whatever was the adjusted principal amount and then of course that's going to accrue for the remaining 40 days here so let's label this okay between this uh, between here and here we're talking 20 days between here and here the 20 days and the 50 days that's 30 days and of course between 50 and 90 that's 40 days okay now the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how much is due all the way up to the 20th day here first okay so remember interest is equal to principal oops principal times rate times time so I have 16,000 times and our interest rate is 6% so that's 0 0.6 times 20 days over 360 and if we do the math times 0 0.06 oops not that's a 0.06, not 0.6, sorry, 0, 0.6, um, times 20. That gives us 19,200 in the numerator and 360 in the denominator. So we divide that by 360, and that means our interest during that period is 53.33. Okay, so let me just diagram that in. So my interest is 53.33 during that period of time. Okay. Now that means that out of the $2,000, 53.33 went against uh, interest first. Okay. And that means 1,946.67 went against principal. Okay, so my principal here, so let me, principal is 1946.67, right? And of course, if that amount goes against the principal of 16,000, I subtract and I get, um, a new balance of a new principal balance of fourteen thousand 
5333. Okay. So let me erase all of this here. So I have a new uh, a new principle. I'm going to call yeah. Let's see here. All right, let me use black. So I have a new principal amount of 14,053.33. Okay. Right. We understood that. That's basically, you know, uh, the only thing we did the exact same thing we've been doing all along. The only difference is that um, when we made the payment of 10,000, we have to pay off the interest and calculate a new principal balance. So our new principal balance is now 14,000. $53.33. Okay. So that's where we're at right here in time at the 20 day mark. Okay. Now we want to be, we have to do the calculations for the next period of time until we may make our next partial payment, which is 30 days later. So we're still using 6% interest, but now it's 30 days over 360. So our new uh, amounts are 14,053.33 times 0 0.06 times 30, which gives me 25,295.99 over 360. So I divide by 360 and I end up with $70.00. 27 cents rounded. Okay. So my new principal is, I'm sorry, my new amount of interest is uh, $70.27. Okay. And of course, the payment was for 4000 So I'm going to subtract the $70.27 because we have to pay off the interest first. And that means um, out of that 4,000 payment, uh, $3,929.73 goes against the principal. $392973. Okay. And since that amount goes against the principal, here was my new adjusted principal balance. So I'm going to subtract the um, $3,929.73. And now I have a balance left, a total balance left on the original note of $10,123.60. So my new principal is $10,123.60. And that takes us all the way up to this period of time. Okay. All right. Erase all of this. Go ahead and pause the video, obviously. Rewind it. You know, play it a couple more times if you have to. And if you have any questions, feel free to call and speak with an instructor and we can go over it with you. All right. Now, we have this new principal amount of $10,123.60. Okay. And it's going to uh, collect interest over this next 40-day uh, period of time. Uh, to where we hit the end of the note at 90 days. So what we're looking here at, we're looking to say, okay, what's going to be our maturity value at the end of that period? How much do we have to pay, you know, on day 90? So we're going, this basically becomes the, you know, we're figuring out the interest and then we're going to add it to this principal amount of $10,000, $10,123.60 in order to know how much we have to pay at the end of the 90 days. So Basically, it's the same thing, 6% interest times 40 days over 360. And when we do all of that math, 1,123.60 times 0 0.06 times 40, that gives us 24,296.64 over 360. So when we divide by 360, our interest ends up being um, $67.49. So our interest during this period is 
and we add that to our original principal amount here of 10,123. So 67.49. We add that in, and that means we have a, a balance that needs to be paid of 1,000. I'm 10,191.09. So that's the the ending balance due. Okay, on day 90. Okay, so we wanted, so that's our, uh, get a pen here, that's our ending balance due, is right there. Okay, and now to find out our total interest, we're going to add up the interest for the three periods. So let me erase here a little bit. So we had interest of, in the first 20 day period, of 53. 33 and in the 30-day period it was seventy dollars and 27 cents and then the last was 67 49 and when we add oops when we add all of those up um, we end up with let's see here nine zero one ninety one so our total interest um, over the life of the, that loan was one hundred ninety-one dollars and nine cents. Okay. All right. Um. Let me just quickly look back real quick. Um. Let's see here. And if you again, you want a refresher problem. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Problem ten twenty-nine was a U.S. rule. Um, and 10.23 was a U.S. roll. Okay, so you can go back and you know rewatch those videos if you want, um, because they're done exactly the same way as this. But if you wanted that additional practice or needed that reference, go back and watch those videos. And as always, you know, like I said, stop, rewind, uh, you know, whatever you have to do. And if you still don't understand. Um, what's going on, then definitely feel free and contact an instructor. Okay, that's it for Chapter 10, and we'll see you all in Chapter 11.